Welcome to this episode of Rodeo Time, or just rodeoing, whatever it is. We're about to do some team roping. Yes, sir, we are at the grounds of Huntsville. It's a few miles north of town. You can live out here, keep your horse. They were team roping out here till about one in the morning last night. And Dale Brisby's about to do the same thing. Dale Brisby, G-Man, AKA Garrison, AKA Magic Man, El Diablo. Those were our uh, nicknames for back when we were team roping. We're about to turn a few. He's gonna teach me how. I've maybe team roped 12 steers in my life. And eight of them were with Garrison. As you can see, still got my picking strings, my quirt, my more maker pliers, horn knot on my on my rope. Ranched out. I'm ranched out. Hopefully I'm better at team roping than I am ranching, which won't be hard. I'm not that good. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Well, you caught, that's a good start. First, you're probably gonna need a smaller loop because bucket head is not that big and you're probably gonna have to feed your rope in. So I would take that loop down. What does a horse's size have to do with it? Well, your rope's gonna be dragging the ground down. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. You're probably gonna have to speed your swing up a little bit when you get on the horse, okay. depending on the steers. Um, but like I said, you, you're doing what you gotta do to catch. You just get your rope across their horns open and pull your slack. Now, one thing I wanna watch you, like shorten your loop down and snappy, kind of have your swing a little snappier. Then we're, we'll talk about position in a second. Okay, that's better. There you go. Better, okay, slack, okay, good. All right, I, I didn't watch your slack. You did good there. The first one, I, you were just- I was too fast. That's why I didn't watch <laughs> it. Exactly. It's too fast, Yeah, son. and you're being a little bit silly uh, with your ducking out there. So I didn't really watch Oh yeah, it. I was just, you were distracted. That's, that's what I do to the judges. Now, now the difference, I, I like to rope the dummy straight behind it, just like you are. Yeah. I, I think that's a good thing. It makes me make sure I cover my area, but you're gonna need this. We're gonna have to- Oh yeah, cause I was doing it strategically. Exactly, yeah. I knew <laughs> you were, I knew you were. But we're gonna need to talk about your lines once we are gonna team rope a steer. Okay. And one of the things I really have to work on when I head is staying what I call in my lane. You know, you, you can't be too far wide because then your horse doesn't, he's not running to the steer. If you're straight behind him, the steer's generally going to peel off to the left. It can go in front of your horse. A lot of bad things can happen. And if you catch, you're generally not going to get all that good a handle to your partner. But as a good rule of thumb, I would probably try to have my right foot inside of his left horn okay. my, in my stirrup. And then that way, as a team, just like pinning a steer out in the pasture or whatever, if you're here, where's the steer gonna go? Yep. That way. So we basically, we're trying to make him run a straight pattern down this arena. Yes, sir. So just keep your, try to keep your foot right inside that line and then do everything else the same. So just work on a loop or two from there. Okay. It's, it's just a little, it's just a little different angle. Don't change anything else. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, that's fine. That's just one thing that, being you haven't headed that many steers, it's gonna, you're gonna have to be conscious of that because if you're gonna catch something out in the pasture, I, I'm gonna get as close behind him as I can and, and, and do like I would rope the dummy. But team roping for your horse and your partner and the steer we're gonna have to be in our lane. So as long as you can remember that, that's gonna be step number one. Another habit, and I know this because I've done this a bunch in the past, and I still gotta be conscious of it every time. You're doing it a little bit, not bad, but just another thing to be conscious of. So we're gonna have reins in this hand. Yes, sir. All right, this will be steering a horse. So, and I've done this before, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bad habit to start, but I used to rope the dummy now watch just my left hand, and when I pull my slack, so what does that do to my horse? Yeah, jerk his head over. Yeah, so be- Is that what I'm doing? No, no, not, I exaggerated that pretty bad. But I just wanted you, it, it, is, it is a thing, and I've done it and do it sometimes. So just you wanna hold that hand straight. Imagine you've got the reins, you want your horse square. Yeah, see, I kinda did it a okay. little. Okay, yeah. it's, it's not bad, but what we ideally want is our horse, like I said, we're talking about our lanes. Yes, sir. So you want your horse running. When you leave the box, you want to point him to the horns. 
running straight, running straight, running straight. And then I'm going to get up here, take a swing. And by doing that, as I pull my slack, I'm going to start picking the reins up to slow my horse down to start my corner. Yes, sir. Okay. So, but that, that's a thing you need to watch out for. And I know it because I do it. Just reach for it, put it on there. Good shot. Good. You've got the basics of this. Hell, you roped enough. Yeah. You know? I mean... <laughs> I just simply can't miss. <laughs> that was just part of the joke, people. <laughs> I'm Dale Brisby and I'm hilarious. I think we're good on the dummy. I, I, I mean, I don't see, the only thing I, I really wanted to make a point of was your left hand and in our lane, you yes, know? Sir. And now as that steer moves, you've got to maintain your position. Yeah. You know, if the steer goes right, we need to keep our deal. If he goes left, you need to keep your deal. Yeah. All easier said than done, but. We'll get into it and see what happens. That was good. Let's have some fun, DB. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> it took me slow. a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't know if you was going to throw it or turn it. That's okay. We'll try again. Hey, you caught your first one, though. Yeah, it was like halfway down the pin. I was like, I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, it was it was faster than I thought. And I, I'm just laying, sitting back here not knowing what to expect. So now we'll try to get a little better start. And uh, hopefully we can get one caught, you know, right in here. And then two, like right there, that... I don't know if that steer went to get heavy or you slowed up a little bit, but down at the back end, it's never really a good deal down there. So you see how like I was getting on close to the steer and then the steer slowed up a bunch and he was right under my stirrup. Yeah. I don't know if the steer just got heavy because he's at the back end. I mean I wouldn't fret it. Let's try it, to get it let's try to get a good go at one and it's kinda yeah, yeah. hard to tell what we had going there. Go ahead. Damn. That felt fast. Yeah, they fast. They run. Like I sailed it out there. You're 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 throwing a, your loop is your loop is fine. It's the steers are a little fast for for your uh, your horse is green to this. You know, it's just yeah. this is a tough tough deal. We'll we'll do our best here though. I kind of just let him run off like a sprinter at the end of a run. I didn't want to just jerk him up. Yeah, like right there. I mean, what you do when you miss sometimes is important too. Like right there would have been a good thing for your horse. One thing you always try to do is get something out of the run. You know, that, that steer was fast, your horse was a little green, he, he, it's, it's a little new. You threw a loop, you popped it off, okay. Well right there, you just let your horse kind of go left. Don't do that. That would have been a good spot to just slow him down in a straight line. And, and you don't have to just slam him into the ground, but like right there after you miss, just keep riding your horse. Just slow him down, slow him down, slow him down to a stop. Just to keep him understanding that he needs to listen to your left hand. Yes, sir. Like right there, if, if you miss another one, let's let's work on that because that we can still salvage something out of the run. You know, yes, for your horse's sake. Let's try to get you a good start and just catch him, try to turn him. I'll do my best. Okay. That looks good. Okay, good. Slow your horse down. Good, good, good. Keep pulling him. Keep pulling him. <laughs> we got one. That was a much better job. Magic Man and El Diablo. <laughs> was it just that much easier because that steer was that much slower? Yeah, he, he let you catch up. Like yeah, right, I almost got in front of him. Like that's like like I said, there's another little aspect of team roping there. If when you like that steer slowed up, your horse is probably figuring it out a little better. He's he's running more to the steer. Uh huh. The first couple he was like. Where are we running to? But yes, like sir. there, it looked like he hooked up better. He ran to a spot. He gave you a chance. You one, two, roped the horns. You had we had plenty of arena. You dallied. You slowed your horse down. And do you see how that steer, for the most part, just stayed in a steady? Yes, sir. And that, as a healer, like again, I, I mean, I'm just very not all that great at healing. I mostly head, but I've seen it done a bunch. When when you head for guys that can really rope. And you 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 just turn the steer and they can see where he's going, they're gonna catch him all the time. You know. 
like there I saw the whole time I, I, I knew where the steer was going yes, to, enough where I could ride to a spot and there one time I told you the steer kind of was coming back to me I was like you got to keep pulling him and you, yep. you, you move forward steer left and I was able to rope to my ability on the feet. yeah but there it was so much better you got a better start when you hear it all the time about roping like the score is so important it is because when you get down here and it feels like you're rushing things don't go as good yeah like there you had time you took one two swings over the back of the horn you know you swung over the horns roped dallied turned you know you, you broke down all the steps we made a run you know like uh you know guys say they're not always great runs but just make a run you know yeah. and you can build off that that was a positive that was a positive deal i mean we 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 accomplished the task. Yes, sir. You, you, you roped the steer, turned the steer, and I healed the steer. Was it, we gonna make the NFR with that? No. I mean, are there steers that run that slow at the NFR, though? Yeah, I mean, the or draw they, is a do, big deal. Do they always try to get faster I steers? Think, I mean, I don't know about the NFR, I ain't never been, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, those guys make them look pretty even, but anywhere you go, they'll be better. You know, the draw, just like drawing a good bronc, there's some better than others, you know. Yeah. No, no different in team roping. The only difference is if ours is no good, we don't get another one. So I never understood that. Right. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Now turn it. There you go. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Good job. Like right there. We made the run. We made the <laughs> run. That's all we can ask of ourselves. You ran up there. That steer ran pretty good. Yes, sir. You caught him good right there. Do you see how you kind of went too much forward? Yes, sir. You make sure you get that horse on his butt more and then go wide. Kind of, he kind of just veered off. You know, you, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, like sir. Like you kind of went too much forward before you turned him. Uh, just like I said, as you rope, dally, sit down, try to get that horse under control and then turn left. There he yes, kind of just veered past. But like I said, that's a green horse and we've been roping fast steers. You know, that kind of thing can happen. You know, yes, sir. I mean, it's, it's it's for a horse that's never been headed on this pretty tough, pretty tough test for him. Yes, sir. And uh, he's staying quiet, which is good. Okay. Good. Good. Well, Dale, yeah. That was a real run, Dale. I mean, we. You ran up, rope steer, turn the steer. I, well, Dale, yeah. That was, that was that was really good, real good. Like like right there, you kept that steer at a steady toe. Yes, sir. You know I could see where I needed to go ride to. Yes, sir. You know I wasn't having to guess. Uh, man, you ran up there, you roped, you turned the steer. You know you didn't you didn't veer in front that time. You 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 got your horse on his butt. You widened the steer, steady hop. I mean, we stayed out the ditch and we made a run. Yes, you know, sir. That, that's all you can ask on a green horse. Well, you saw it. We caught every single one. There were no misses that we edited out, right, Donnie? Yeah. Yeah, so caught them all, <laughs> just as you'd expect Dale Brisby if he's going to try a new event. But uh, that's how you team rope them also, and that's how you uh, turn and burn. Is that what y'all say? Uh, turn no, and burn. I don't, but... Is that a team roping term? Somebody might. Yeah. Turn and burn. So... Uh, we're just uh, drinking beers and turning steers, but except I don't drink, or turn steers for that matter. I don't drink beer in the morning. <laughs> yeah, not in the morning. <laughs> so, thanks for watching uh, this episode of just rodeoing, rodeo time, whatever it is. We're at the grounds of Huntsville, outside of Huntsville, Texas. If you need a team rope, if you need a spot to keep your horse, if you need somewhere to live, they got all the above. There's even y'all got a gym over there where people can work out. They got, they got a, a, a home gym, gated community. Yeah, it's gotta be gated because everybody's got horses. So, pow-pow and on to the next one, old son.